Yeah, let's leave the politics aside and just focus on the economy. The legislation would cut the budget deficit, raise employment, raise wages, raise productivity, and raise return to investors. Opposing this would leave the country worse off. Let's start with that which Republicans hate above all else, and that is government debt. The Congressional Budget Office analysis finds the bill would decrease federal budget deficits by $197 billion from 2014 to 2023 and cut the deficit $700 billion wow. from 2024 to 2033. One way it does that? Increase the number of people working, CBO estimates. Increase the labor force by 3.5% in 2023, 5% in 2033. Of course, millions more people working, millions more people paying taxes. That means the economy grows a whole lot faster. GDP would be 3.3% bigger in 2023, 5.4% in 2023. 33. Employing all the new workers, giving them equipment to use, would raise investment in the economy, ultimately raises productivity. Higher productivity means higher living standards. Every year, CBO analyzes lots of legislation. It's by, hard to find one that they are so positive about in terms of the economy. Really interesting, but you know, there's always the argument that uh, you know, the immigrants are taking the jobs away from Americans. Yeah, the CBO analysis didn't go into that in depth, but they say it's not necessarily true. The reason the effect may be minimal is all those new workers create their own demand. So it creates new jobs. The number of jobs rises as well as the number of people working. What effects there are also likely to be among the lowest and highest skilled workers. In the short run, unemployment might rise as new immigrants are imposed, it, it absorbed into the labor pool. Wages for the bottom 20 and top 20 percent might not grow quite as fast as those in the middle. But the impacts fade within 10 years. The economy overall is better off. That's why you get such a long-term benefit from the program.